Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial. In this video we're going to be continuing our build of the Half-Life Alex weapon wheel. In Half-Life Alex, uh, Alex doesn't have a weapon wheel until she acquires the first weapon from Russell. And uh, we're going to duplicate that. I'm clicking on it right now and as you can see I don't have a weapon wheel. When I grab the pistol, I now have a weapon wheel with a pistol. And when I grab the rifle, I now have a weapon wheel with a rifle and a pistol. So we're going to duplicate that and uh, and so let's go ahead and jump in. It shouldn't be too long of a tutorial. Alright, if you haven't completed the uh, haven't completed the uh, first video to make the make the weapon wheel. Uh, go back, uh, go through that tutorial, and then come back to this one. Um, I'm in uh, the BNG uh, XR demo scene, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our weapon wheel select script. I just want to uh, add a little bit of code in here to uh, clean up. clean up what uh, what happens if, if you're holding an item and it's not equal to a weapon in the weapon wheel so that it just drops a little bit cleaner um, it's just a small snippet of code so if you go into your weapon wheel select and then you go to rifle select and then you come down here to where it says else we're gonna we're gonna add a little bit to that it's on line 57. And I'll, I'll make the scripts available in the, in the description. And basically all this is going to do is, if you're holding anything anything that's not the pistol or, or the rifle or anything like that, it's just going to drop it and then equip the rifle. So if you're holding, you know, I don't know, a grenade, then you'll drop it and then you'll, then you'll equip it. Then come down here to your pistol select. And we're going to add the same snippet of code, just slightly different. line 104 and then from here to here and then come down to your empty hand select and then we're going to add a couple of lines there okay and that should make uh, the items drop a little bit cleaner um, it dropped them before but it was just kind of random direction this will make it drop straight down before it equips your pistol or your rifle Okay, so now let's go back into Unity. Let's go to Assets, go to uh, BNG Framework, go into Prefabs, and let's grab a table to set our weapons on just so we've got something to work on here. Let me find the table. Desk. All right. Let's pull it up. And then go into your... Uh, BNG framework again, go into prefabs, go into weapons, and grab the pistol new, which is the one that we I used for the weapon wheel, whatever weapon that you used for your weapon wheel. And then go into grab my rifle here. Now keep in mind when we do this, I've got the script written to where the pistol is acquired first. So this is what enables your weapon wheel. And this will just be added to it later. Um, you can add a piece of code into it that will enable the weapon wheel with either one. But I just kind of wanted to stay with the progression of the way Alex does it. So let's go into our assets and then go to scripts. We're going to add a new script. And we're going to call this one uh, pistol acquired. Okay, and at the top, I'm going to say using BNG. And 
Okay, so we're going to need a couple of gravables. We're going to need our gravel, our pistol gravable, which is the pistol to be destroyed, which is the one sitting on the table. We need the grabber from that pistol, which is the one that's sitting on the table. You need your player controller. You're going to need the pistol from the weapon wheel. And you're going to need the uh, grabable uh, from the pistol. On start, we're going to get the pistol grabable for our pistol to be destroyed, the, grab, the, grabable on, the grabable component on that pistol. Under the update, we're going to say if pistol grabable is being held, so when you pick it up, it's going to, and if it's equal true, we're going to run switch pistol. We're going to run this. Oops. Had a misspelling on that one. Hmm. All right. Well, there we go. Sorry about that. There's a misspelling in that. Uh, player controller dot get component. We're gonna enable the weapon wheel, and then we're gonna set our pistol set active true, which is the pistol in the weapon wheel. We're gonna equip the gravel pistol. Rigid, or we're gonna set the rigid body is kinematic false, so that it has uh has physics again. And then we're going to uh, set its parent to null, and then we're going to drop the atom that we have, which is the gun on the table, and we're going to equip the pistol from our weapon wheel. So we're going to swap the guns, and then we're going to destroy the gun on the table. So it's going to it's going to swap the gun. So when you pick the gun up, it's going to swap it with the one in the weapon wheel, and then it's going to destroy the one that you picked up. And then it'll be available in your weapon wheel from there forward. Okay, so let's go back into Unity. <clears throat> this script is going to go on the pistol so grab your pistol acquired and put it on pistol new come down to the bottom and we're going to assign this stuff so we need our hand grabber which is way down here your right hand oh, where, where the heck are you There you are. And we need our player controller. And then we need the pistol from our weapon wheel. Uh, where did I put that? I put that under tracking anchor. We need it twice, once for the pistol and the game object and once for the grabable component on that pistol. Okay, while we're in here, on your weapon wheel, disable it. And then your rifle cube, disable it. And you'll see why here in a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and create another script. And we're going to call this uh, rifle acquired. And we need using BNG. Okay, so we need the rifle gravel, which is the one on the table. We need the hand, and we need the grabber. We need the grabber. We need the player controller. We need the weapon wheel rifle. And then we need the grabbable component on the on the weapon wheel rifle. And then we need our rifle cube. So on start, we're gonna get the uh, we're gonna get the grabbable for uh, for the the rifle that's on the table. And then if it's being held, so that means you you walk up and you grab it. We're gonna run switch rifle, which is this, and then. We're going to set our rifle cube to active. So when you first pick up the pistol, it's going to enable the weapon wheel, and then it's going to enable the uh, the cube for your for your for your uh, pistol. So you'll only have that pistol. After we run this, it's going to enable the cube for the rifle, so that you then have access to the rifle. So then we're going to set the rifle from the weapon wheel uh, rigid body kinematic false, so it has graphic or has uh, has physics again. 
and then we're going to set its parents a null and then uh, we're going to drop the gun that we're holding and we're going to assign the one from the weapon wheel and then we're going to destroy the rifle off the table so you're basically switching the weapons and then destroying the one that you picked up off the table okay so let's go back into unity Rifle acquired is going to go on the rifle that's on the table. Scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to fill out this stuff. So we need our hand grabber again. We need our player controller. We need our rifle, which is the weapon wheel rifle. Need it twice, once for the game object and then once for the uh, for the grabbable. And then we need the rifle cube. Okay, well, let's jump into VR and see what happens. Forgot to hold on a second. Forgot to if you go to player controller and go down to enable weapon wheel and disable it. Okay, we got no weapon wheel. Grab our pistol. We now have the uh, only that. Grab a rifle. We now have both. And let's just go see uh, if our other little fix from the beginning actually worked. Here you go. See, now we got a clean drop. So, there we go. All right. In future tutorials, I'll keep building on this, um, adding other weapons, and I'm, I'm probably going to write some uh, some more scripts to uh, enable upgrades, uh, kind of following the whole Half-Life Alex stuff, where she puts her gun into a into a you know an up, upgrader of some type, and it spits out a better rifle. Um, anyway, that's how you do that. Thanks for joining.